the challenges that we have in the remanufacturing area for many years is, is really a lot of it relate to uh, perception uh, with a lot of people perceiving reman product as uh, lesser than new and inferior product or not good quality product and and uh, um, it, it, the, the circular economy concept really highlight the, the, the value of remanufacturing uh, from a resource efficiency point of view, material consumption point of view, uh, energy uh, point of view, as we use uh, far less energy than what we use when we actually make a brand new product. So I think all of that is, is adding a lot of awareness to the value of remanufacturing. The challenges across the board today, I think, relate to the, the uh, embedded electronics and products. And uh, a lot of electronic uh, equipment or electronic boards or electronic components embedded in product represent significant challenges for many of the industry uh, participants because uh, it presents uh, a new dimension to what they used to do before. So uh, to be able to validate the condition of the uh, components with electronic uh, board, electronic components in, in, embedded in them is is a very uh, difficult task and uh, it will present a lot of challenges going forward for the industry. The uh, government and policymakers we learned that over the years uh, that they have a significant role in in actually helping the industry and helping uh, you know the market in, in this area as well. Uh, so, for example, uh, some of the challenges that we face right now are related to open market access. So, for example, if you have a uh, diesel engine or you have construction equipment or you have a uh, medical equipment machine, so if the, the machine that is not functioning anymore that becomes what we call the core, that is the raw material for us in remanufacturing, if I have barriers in moving this machine across the border for a you know, certain uh, country where that work is going gonna, is gonna to take place to remanufacture this machine and I have all of these restrictions, uh, then that is basically going to stop the, the, the remanufacturing, this remanufacturing segment altogether if we put barriers of moving those cores. And again, on the other hand also is, is barriers to, um, to market uh, entry in many countries where the, the remanufactured product are called used product.